Jumping Block in the presentation 2050. My name is Marcus Allen, and today I have a wonderful topic for you. I think some of you are going to be surprised, but most of you are going to be shocked by what I'm about to tell you. Many of you think that you're in charge of your lives, or that you're in charge of your thoughts, and perhaps many of you believe that you cannot be brainwashed. I'm going to give you a hint. It's not so. How many of you are familiar with this famous line? Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. It's from the famous song, I'm Loving It, by the company we know and love, McDonald's. Now, we all know that we have what? Five senses, right? Hearing, taste, seeing, smell, touch, right? But what you didn't know is that we also have another sense that was given to us to guard over the five. And what I'm about to share with you may shock you. So, I need you to participate. I need you to close your eyes. I need you to imagine you're driving down the road. And as you're driving down the road, suddenly you have a premonition. And in this premonition, you see yourself running through the intersection in a car slamming to you and mortally wounding you. Suddenly you wake up out of the vision, and as you approach the intersection, you s slow to a crawl, and the car zooms right in front of you. Now open your eyes. Were you all able to see that in your mind? That's right. I want you to know that you have a sixth sense called imagination that fuels the world. <clears throat> Every day the world taps into your mind. They tap into the sixth sense, and they use it to control you, and they use it against you. Many of you never knew it. Most of you were not even aware that it existed. But what I want you to know today, that after you learn about it, I will ask you this question, what are you going to do? Did you know that there were 6.7 billion people in the world and that 99% of these people are enslaved to their societies and to the systems of their societies, and that we, as a people, are controlled by the top 1% of the wealthy in the world? Isn't that amazing? Here's the truth. A great psychologist named Sigmund Freud uh, realized this and learned that the imagination was the controlling point in a man's mind. Today, when you go to a psychologist's office, how many of you have heard this statement? Please tell me something from your childhood, as far back as you can remember. But when we were children, nobody wanted to know what we were thinking. Isn't that amazing? In 1933, Adolf Hitler, the leader of the Nazi ruling country, country convinced his entire nation that another race needed to be exterminated. The Jews, then they destroyed and exterminated five million Jews and created what we know today as the Holocaust in World War II. In 1999, a world message went out that 400,000 Sudan, uh, Sudanese, Tunisian people and uh, uh, Darfurian people were being killed every month and 1.5 million a year. Now, the great speaker, philosopher, Balthasar Grayson said this concerning our imagination. He said you need to take control of your imagination. It is the basis of your happiness. And that through your imagination, it controls your life. He said it is the greatest influence and the domination of our minds. He said the imagination promises happiness. But it only gives us a blissful delusion of the truth. So today I say to you, I want you to take charge of your imagination. So as you go over me today, and when you listen to advertising, and when you listen to preachers and teachers, politicians, and motivational speakers, know that they're trying to tap into your mind. And I say in the words of Balthasar 
celebration that you should lord over your imagination. And I want to thank you for coming to this presentation. And I hope that you've enjoyed and you've received something from me. If you have any questions, you can give it me later. And I'll be happy to answer your question. Thank you very much.